2007 and the shrill you're hearing is actually these guys right here yes that's right the cicadas have returned um, this brood every hatches every 17 years I remember them everywhere once I was five but I don't remember this deafening shrill. I guess it goes away at night. And these things are literally everywhere. I'm going to take a quick tour to give you an idea of the scope. They're all up in the trees making their call. You can see them. The little bugs up there are all cicadas. These things, again, are everywhere. whole bunch right in there. I can get a better shot. I don't know why they all kind of converged in there. There's a couple more. Yep. That's not even the start of them. Come around to the backyard here. And you might be able to see them in the trees. It's kind of hard. But they're there. Okay, so basically, here's how this works um, with their life cycle. Basically what happens is they come up out of the ground. I can't really find any um, pre-hatched larvae or whatever, but they come up from the ground. They find the nearest tree or pole or whatever is kind of vertical. And they climb a little ways up the tree, or all the way up, it depends. What they do is they molt. They hatch from these shells here. Um, they hatch out of their exoskeleton. Um, they then dry for a couple days, maybe up to a week, I think. And when they dry, you get this type of final... You get, um, they emerge into this final form right here. And there's that guy working up his way up the tree to do his call as well. Now during mating, um, what the females will do um, is they'll lay their eggs in, they'll dig slits in the little twigs, twiggy parts of the trees. Uh, you know, at the far end of the very branches, the very small sapling twig parts of the tree. They'll dig little slits, lay their eggs. And then a couple, I think a few weeks later, the larvae actually hatch. They fall to the ground and dig themselves two feet underground once again and reside underground for another 17 years until they, re -come, until they come up out of the ground again from those holes I show, uh, showed you. There's a whole bunch of them with a whole bunch of old shells. And they start to cycle over again. 
give you an idea of exactly how many there are on this tree alone. All those brown things are all shells. Kind of go over here because I saw a whole bunch. All over the hostas. And just from looking at these tiger lilies alone, you can see that we have been invaded. <laughs> Look at that thing. Pretty ugly looking things. Oh yeah, there literally isn't a leaf on these plants without one cicada on them. Even starting to crawl up my leg. Let's get it off me. Looking them all over here. All cicadas. Should ask, also add too, we're on the northern fringe of this brood of cicada. This is a northern Illinois brood, and here in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, um, this is more or less as far north as they go. I haven't heard too many reports of a massive outbreak too far north of here. Even too, even not too far north of this county, there hasn't been too many. So this, they're pretty localized, and this is pretty much the northern more, most fringe of this brood.